Hi, I'm Michael Banfield, and in this video I want to show you that by using an expression pedal with your delay, that you can not only get some great unique effects, but you can also make it a lot more versatile and easier to switch between all of its different settings. I'm going to be using a Boss DD8 and EV30 for this, but you can use whatever you want. Just make sure your delay pedal has an expression pedal input to control the different parameters, and your expression pedal has a minimum control on it. This is a fairly easy one. This is how to switch between two different preset settings on your delay pedal using the expression pedal. So I've set the expression pedal so that the maximum amount of effect level when my toe is down is quite a lot. So I should get a fairly intense delay effect. And I've set on the expression pedal the minimum amount quite low. So when my heel is back, I'm just gonna get a subtle echo and subtle delay. Uh, this is really nice just between um, just to switch between those two settings really quickly uh, kind of mid jam mid song and it's just really convenient <laughs> Okay, this is a fun one. So with the expression pedal controlling the full range of the effect level control, try pumping the expression pedal so that you almost get like a tremolo effect applied to the delay signal only. And if you play chord stabs, you'll get this weird kind of glitchy effect where um, not all the repeats will get through, but some will or parts of some of the repeats will get through. And it's just quite an interesting sound. Um, I'll put some reverb with this one as well. This is how to get a kind of three mode delay pedal. With the expression pedal control and the feedback control now, set the maximum amount of feedback, so that's the toe forward position, um, to just before the pedal starts to self oscillate and feed back on itself. You want it intense, but not quite self oscillating. And then the heel back position, so the minimum amount of feedback control, that needs to be set to zero, so you get just the one repeat. And this way you can get in the heel back position, a cool kind of 50s style um, slap back echo, just with the one repeat. The mid position on the expression pedal will be a nice medium intensity echo. And then the toe forward position will be this big spacey um, intense echo. And you can get between all those three settings uh, just using the expression pedal. <laughs> Now for some cool rhythmic effects, but before we get into that, if you're finding this video useful, think about maybe liking the video, maybe subscribing to the channel if you want to see more videos like this on how to use pedals. Staying with the same settings for the expression pedal, you can get some really interesting choppy rhythmic sampler-like effects by setting the effect level to the same volume as your original guitar signal and setting the delay time to 8th or 16th notes of whatever music you're playing. And when you play staccato chords or notes, then with your heel back it'll repeat once, and with the toe forward it'll repeat more than once. And you can get some really interesting rhythms by switching between the two. This 
this is another three mode option that you might find useful. So with the expression pedal controlling the delay time now, set the heel back position, so the minimum delay time to a very short, almost reverb-like delay time. And the toe forward position set to a big long echo. The in-between position can be used for medium ambient type echoes as well. For some weird and wobbly sci-fi sounds, try setting the expression pedal to control the delay time and also the feedback time. So it's controlling here the full range of the delay time and the feedback time, but the maximum of the feedback is uh, just before it starts to self-oscillate. And of course, you can always use the expression pedal to make the delay self-oscillate and feed back on itself as well. I'm sure I've missed a few things out here, so if you know of any other ways of using expression pedals with delay pedals, feel free to share them in the comments below. And if you found this video useful, think about liking the video, maybe subscribing to the channel, and I hope to see you on another video soon.